This is a recap of Thursday, October 1st. There are some um, important things in this recap that weren't in class. For example, the answers to Desmos. So if you're looking for those, go towards the end of the video. I'll start with what we did in class. Um, what we'll begin with is the answer key to the week two Kami assignment. And um, I'll zoom in so you can see these answers a little bit better. So here is the first page. We went over this yesterday. Let's see if this is the first page. Yeah, this is the first page. So I'll start at the top and go down. And we did this yesterday, but here's an answer key in case you missed it. Whoops. Let me zoom out for a moment. There we go. Okay, let me start up here, zoom in. And this is what we did today. It starts with 10 times 3 up in this corner is equal to 30. So we do 6 times 3 is equal to 18. And here are the answers for 1, 2, 3, and 4. There are the factors for 5 and 10. And the greatest common factor is 5. There's the factors for 2 and 4. The greatest common factor is 2. And the answers to number 7 and number 8. And then for the next page, 4 divides evenly into both 4 and 12. And so that simplifies to 1 third. And you can skip a part C if you'd like. Here are the fractions in simplest form for 10, 11, 12, and 13. 1 fifth, 2 fifths, 3 fifths, and 1 fifth. And then problem number 14, the fractions are equivalent. And problem number 15, the fractions are not equivalent. 2 sevenths is not equivalent to 1 sixth. Uh, the next page, we um, had said we can skip um, this part, but I did fill it in in case you're checking. Multiply the, to rewrite a mixed number as an improper fraction, multiply the whole number by the denominator, add, and add the numerator to the product, write this number as the numerator, and keep the original denominator as the denominator of the mixed number. So, an example, 5 and 1 6 is... 6 times 5, 5 times 6, which is 30, plus 1 is 31, so it's 31 sixth. Now to go the other direction, to do, write an improper fraction as a mixed number, then you divide the numerator by the denominator. The quotient is the whole number of the mixed number. Uh, the remainder, write the remainder as the numerator for the original denominator, and that's the fraction part. So in class, we drew some pictures of this. Um, 17 fifths is 17 divided by 5. Seven, 5 goes into 17 three times with 2 left over. And then there's some pictures. I had to um, highlight it because it didn't copy. Um, but the first one um, is 3, excuse me, 4 fourths and 3 fourths. So that's one and three fourths. This is one hole right here. And this is another hole and this is four out of four and this is three out of four. So that's seven fourths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's where we get the numerator. And because the entire picture is cut into four parts, there's two of those entire pictures. One is fully shaded, the other one is partially shaded. Same thing over here, we have an entire amount, an entire amount, 
and then half an entire amount. So two and a half, and that's five halves. So to change two and one third to an improper fraction, we do two times three is six, add the one, we get seven, and that's seven thirds. So there's the answers to four, five, six, and seven. Seven halves, 15, 14 fifths, 21 fifths, and 32 thirds. And then the uh, word problems, Yao can jump 25 fourths feet, and Rachel uh, cut off 23 fourths inches from her hair. And then I colored in seven fourths. Each of those little segments is a fourth. So I did four of them there and then three more there to get seven. So there's one full one and there's three left over. So that's one and three fourths. Eight thirds, you divide eight by three and you get two and two thirds. The answer to 12 is two and one fourth. The answer to 13 is four and two fifths. The answer to 14 is three and three tenths. And then Ginny's puppy, Let me zoom out for a moment and then zoom back in. Ginny's puppy weighs 19 sixth ounces. So we do 19 divided by six and we get three and one sixth. And that's the answer key. Um, now I'm going to do the Desmos um, answer key. So let me go there. Uh, the first one, you just write in the fractions. You can write them in or draw them. I'm going to draw them. So this has eight parts with seven shaded. And that can't be simplified. This has six parts with five shaded. And that can't be simplified. This is one out of the four parts are shaded. This is two-fourths, but I know that I could kind of just ignore this right here and this right here and it would be one out of two. This is three by one, two, three, four. So this has 12 parts and nine of those parts are shaded, but I can kind of think of that as one that's another one, that's another one, and I can think of this as really four parts where three of them are shaded. And we could simplify that. Three fourths. This one has one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So again, 12 parts and eight of those are shaded. So again, I'm going to think of it kind of this direction. So that's kind of like one right there. And maybe I'll use another color to maybe this will work a little bit better. So that's like one right there. Here's another one right here. And here's another one. So I can put those little small parts into three parts as if I just cut this entire rectangle in thirds. And two of those three are shaded. So it's eight out of 12, but also we can see in the picture, it's two out of three. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times three. So there are 24 parts that are all the same size and six of them are shaded. If I divide both those by six, I get six divided by six is one, 24 divided by six is four. So I should be able to see this as really one whole thing right here. Wish I had a better tool. Actually, I do have a better tool. Let's pull this up for a second and get this. Um, 
Okay, so. That's like one right there. And then this is another one. So I put all six of those. Notice that there's six in there. And that's what I'm dividing by. So I group them into six. There's another six. And then there's one more group of six. So I take those six and I put them into, it's really just four groups. So that's where I have the four. And one of those four are shaded. So it's taking the more complicated picture and trying to simplify it. Now this one has, I'll just use the tool available on this one. So this one has one, two, three, four, five. So five parts, two of them are shaded. So two fifths. Notice how I can't put this into groups of two because if I do a group of two and then another group of two, I end up with half a group. So I can't simplify this. Two fifths is as simple of a picture as I can do in this one. So I'm going to make this three fourths by cutting it into, cutting it in half. I'm going to shade. that one. This one is interesting. I have to cut it right down the middle of that one. So I would have to cut all of these like this. And then do three more of these. And then this one I can do two of these. And it says, um, explain what happened as you did this. Were some fractions easier? Um, yeah, I definitely think that this was an easy one right here. And this was an easy one right here. But I had to create other new lines on these two. Uh, they weren't as easy to get into three-fourths. This one didn't really have any instructions, so I just wanted to simplify. That's one half, that's one half, and that's one half. And then this one we're going to be talking more next week about prime factorization, but this is, we could do two times nine, and then the two is prime, and then three, times three, so um, the two and the three are circled um, because they're prime numbers. So 108 is equal to two times two times three times three times 3. That's called the prime factorization. We'll work more on that next week.